guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to another polymer clay earring video. This is another video in our artist spotlight series where I am featuring polymer clay artists from all over and they are sharing their favorite tips, tricks, techniques, tutorials for making some super special and unique polymer clay earrings. Today's artist spotlight feature is Tori of Bling by Tori. Tori is super helpful over in the All Things Clay Earrings Facebook group. She helps me out a ton over there by being a moderator and she's a talented clay artist. I'm excited for you guys to hear from her today. She's going to be sharing with you how to make an ombre effect on your clay. It's a quick video. She does a great job teaching you guys, so let's get right into it. So today I wanted to show y'all how to make this super cute and easy ombre effect with your polymer clay. You can do two colors, three colors, as many as colors as you can fit. And it's super easy, super quick. Okay, so I'm going to try the ombre effect with Sculpey Primo pomegranate blush and white. Since it's almost Valentine's Day, I figured these colors would look really pretty together. Um... Basically, for this technique, all you need is two or more colors, a rolling pin, or a clay machine. For this first step, you're going to want to roll out your clay and get them about the same length and width. And once you roll them out, you're going to kind of put them together, like so, like kind of smush them together, and then cut the extra clay. So, your clay should look like this, your three colors, or however many colors you have should look like this before you start to roll them or put them in your clay machine. Um, so after this is done, you can start the ombre process. So what you're first going to do when you have it pressed all together like this, I like to run it through the machine. I do have it on the settings three on my Atlas 150. So once you do that the first time, you take it and you just fold it over and run it back through the machine. And that's basically what you do throughout the process until it gets to the effect, the ombre effect you like. Okay, so this is my finished clay. You definitely could run it through the POS machine a few more times to get those colors even more blended. But this is just a good example of how to do it and how it turns out. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful for you. Remember, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and go support this artist by checking out her website, order a pair of earrings that interest you, and follow her on social media. That's just a way that you can show support for them taking time out of their day to record these tutorials for you. Again, thanks so much for watching today, and we will see you in our next video. Bye.